Decorating a Christmas tree like a pro is easier than it looks. I'm about to show you seven different themed Christmas tree ideas to get you inspired this holiday season. But before we get to the themes, I'm gonna share my best designer tips to help you level up your Christmas tree this year. Start with lights. The foundation of your Christmas tree design is the lights. The designer rule of thumb is 100 lights for every 1.5 feet. But I personally love a ton of lights on my trees, so feel free to add more. If you're using lights from previous years, be sure to always check that your lights are working before you string them on your tree. Many artificial trees are pre-lit and have the lights already integrated, but you could always add more. As for the debate of colored versus white lights, it really depends on what look and feel you're going for. I'm gonna use both in different theme designs. Go for garland. Garlands can be anything that you're draping on your tree, around or vertically. These can be ribbon, strands of popcorn, fabric, or an actual garland. <laughs> Ornaments. There are no firm rules here, but I've got a few tips. Start with your favorite ornaments to give them a prime location where you can best see them. Next, add your largest ornaments and then fill in with the medium or small ones. Make sure you're not just putting ornaments on the outside edges of the tree. A designer secret is putting ornaments deeper into the branches so that you can ensure that your tree has visual depth. Last up is tree choice. Are you team real or artificial? Either will work for all the designs I'm about to share with you. I personally use some real and some artificial. I like decorating multiple Christmas trees every year because guys, I really love Christmas. And now that we have the building blocks for a designer tree, let's get decorating. Christmas tree themes can be outside of the box. For this tree, I looked to my closet for some fashion inspiration. I went with a buffalo check kind of flannel inspired theme for this tree. But as you look at your closet and your winter wardrobe, there's so many different materials that you could use to inspire your tree. Think like wool sweaters or leather or even denim. All of those could kind of be the inspiration for your theme. I also created some wood slice ornaments. All you need is a saw. I really like using birch logs, but any logs outside would work. Add a little black paint and your favorite seasonal words. It's a really easy, cute ornament. Works great with the flannel theme. One other cool wood slice tip is that if you're using a real tree, you can take a little slice off of the bottom of the tree and turn it into an ornament. Write the year and kind of commemorates it. You'll have a whole collection after a while. This tree works great with white or colored lights. Many pre-lit artificial trees now feature an option to change the light color. So if you're having trouble deciding, you can do white one day and color the next. Whether you live in a warm climate or just wanna try and forget about the cold wintry weather, this coastal inspired tree will bring some calm to the chaotic holiday season. Christmas time usually invokes ideas of cold, wintry weather, but if you live somewhere warm, Christmas can look a little different, and that was the inspiration for this coastal tree. I used a lot of non-traditional nautical elements for this tree. Our garland is just rope with knots tied in it. We actually have sand and seashells. The whole thing together just gives a really great coastal vibe. These DIY seashell ornaments are awesome. I picked up clear ornaments at Lowe's, some play sand, and then filled them with shells. For the shells, I collected these at the beach this summer, but if you didn't, you can always pick them up at the craft store. This woven tree collar I got at Lowe's adds great texture and visual interest. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas with this beautiful flock tree. Adding floral picks like these red berries are an awesome idea to add some visual interest and also to fill in any bare spots on your tree. And a few different spots, I use the hook to gather together two ornaments, kind of giving it a different visual look and also playing off the whole berry theme that we have on this tree. A tree collar is an awesome alternative to a traditional tree skirt, and for this one, I added a little bit of red electrical tape around the edges just to add an extra pop. Christmas decor tends to lean a bit traditional, but if you like modern style, I've got a tree for you. I went for a slimmer tree with this modern style. I think it works best with the design. And if you were going with a live tree, I would look for one that's just a little less full. 
I also like the look of the flock tree for this. The white, it kind of is like the modern backdrop, but you could definitely do it on a traditional evergreen as well. I used some really non-traditional items on this tree. I took some copper pipe fittings, added a little bit of twine, and for the marble bathroom tile, just hot glued a hook right on. When you're thinking modern, it's all about the shape. I really love the circle and the hexagons. Color blocking ornaments has trended the last couple years. We're taking that trend a step further with this color block tree. For this color block technique, I'd recommend using three to five colors, kind of depending on the size and shape of your tree. For this one, three worked out really nicely. Keeping each section truly color blocked is what makes this design work. So our red section got all red bells and red ornaments. Our pink gets all pink and our aqua gets all aqua. That really keeps everything consistent. For this tree, I used matte finish spray paint, but if you were to use a glossy finish spray paint, it would give you a much more glam look. It really just depends on the style you're going for. If you didn't want to do this on an artificial tree and just wanted to go with this style for one season, you could definitely try it on a real tree as well. Here are some tips on how to create the perfect homespun tree design with all those handmade kid ornaments that you've collected over the years. Colored lights work perfectly on a homespun tree. It really works with all of your kids' handmade colorful ornaments. But to add even more whimsy and play into that, I added oversized colored lights in addition to what already came on the pre-lit tree. The key here is to embrace the eclectic. I mean, you may have ornaments from when your kids are in preschool all the way through, and that's what makes them so special. But the way to make them feel not so chaotic on the tree is to try to add some oversized ornaments. This will kind of balance out all the chaos and give it a unified feel. Vintage is always in style, if you ask me, and I'm just loving the look of this throwback tree. Vintage can mean a lot of different things and represents a lot of different time periods, but for this particular vintage tree, it kind of has a Victorian vibe, and that's thanks to these oversized floral picks. There are a couple ways to get a vintage-inspired look. You could actually have authentic vintage ornaments, which is great, or you can buy new ornaments that are just meant to look old, like we did in this case. All of these are brand new from Lowe's, but they have a really old-timey Victorian feel that I love. Well, there you have it. Seven completely unique, different Christmas tree ideas that you could try out this holiday season. I'd love to know which idea was your favorite, or if you have another tree theme that I should be trying, leave me a comment and let me know. And remember, all of the products that I use throughout this video can be found in the link below. Merry Christmas, everyone.